Hey everyone, welcome to GED. So this is the culmination of the beginning of the expansion. Not even expansion, just pre-patch. Um, patch? I don't know, end of the expansion. BFA, right? We've <laughs> we've gone through the Halls of Origination like three or four different times. We've ran around Rathian's Lair, Blackwing Descent, like all the way around the freaking circle like three times. I'm going to have to say something right, right off the bat. The quests and the gameplay of this uh, little patch is kind of crap <laughs> so far. I have yet to go into the um, vision. So we're hoping we can get, you know, some experience here at toward, towards the end of this quest line. We're here. We're being pushed around by these tornadoes or this force or whatever. We have the epic cloak of... Asha comma yeah whatever and it's 470 gives us reduction in sandy loss and there's some corruption a little bit of corruption i got my first corruption item it's just the crappy ritual one gives me secondary stats and um increases the chance if more allies have the ritual anyways i'm 438 gear score we're gonna go in this vision kill some stuff the cloak will protect you from the brunt of nizoth's power but it cannot hold him at bay indefinitely I mean, the only thing we've been doing for like the past, I don't know, two hours or so that I haven't filmed is just killing mobs. I mean, it's nothing new. It's almost like I'm doing a two hour world quest at the beginning of this expansion. Not pleased, not pleased in the slightest. Our uh, first time we came in here, this basically just ran down your insanity bar, killed you and you got teleported out. Now that we have the cloak, it's actually running us through like kind of what a vision should be. I'm a Beastmaster Hunter, so man, I can just like kill mobs all day. I'm wondering if pet classes in this expansion, this mini end to the expansion, I keep saying expansion, it's not an expansion guys, um, just pet classes or classes that can tank infinitely on PvE mobs like Beastmaster Hunters are going to have an unfair advantage because like we can just run from mob to mob just killing stuff, uh, kind of like demon hunters or something and we don't really have to, to spend time um in one place or take damage at all in the case of beastmaster hunter like i can tank a boss forever whereas certain other classes would kind of get beat down maybe lose their insanity your sanity will erode more quickly and your senses will begin to betray you what is he saying am i supposed to am i supposed to do this what's going on why am i glowing I don't know, I destroyed that. I'm not sure if I was supposed to destroy that or not. But anyways, we're, we're doing it. Uh, I think I was supposed to destroy these, right? Okay, so it takes my sanity down, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to destroy those? Beware Am I? the creature ahead of you. Its attacks afflict not only your physical form, but your mind as well. Okay, so we lose insanity. It's kind of run you through the basics of what a, a vision Nazoth, Nazoth, Nazoth sauce is. What what is going on? Why am I getting like an, whatever? Okay. Oh hey, mechanics. I can move infinitely, kind of like a demon hunter. Uh, this thing's not really strong, is it? It's going down quite quickly. Uh, I don't know if this would depend on your gear score, how tough mobs are. I assume it goes with typical blizzard scaling. This vision must center around the forge. Perhaps repairing it will end the nightmare. Yeah, Head perhaps. Uh, third floor, I think is the the forge, right? We're in the halls of origination. We again, we ran through this freaking dungeon like three times, just killing mobs and yada yada yada. Whoa, okay. Oh, I almost got off that. Hey, there's a boss over there. Am I? I don't know if I'm supposed to kill that boss. Look at the console. Whatever. Soth never meant to destroy the fort. He seeks to corrupt. I lost my pet. Of course, he seeks to corrupt it. They're always corrupting the everything in the world. I could have probably saved my sanity and gone down and kill that guy, but whatever. Mother, see if you can bring our champion back to the chamber. What is this? Is this just like periodic sandy loss? What? I don't know what I'm being affected by. 
Okay, so they're teleporting me out yet again. We boom. Okay, so I can't go down because I can't use the console. There was a boss down there I probably could have killed. Whatever, here we go, guys. I'm hoping it actually lets me run a vision. Like, just to see my first experience here. You reconfigured the engine of Nalak Shah. Oh, yeah, we found Raden, brought him there. We found Natharian, brought him in. Mother has always been here. Speak your mind. The level of expertise that would require. You are most impressive. Okay. Uh, Magni actually came along with a few different things and. Uh, Vision of Nazoth explored. Okay. The opportunity to converse with you further on the matter. Who am I supposed to talk to? Raden? You have no. my attention. Do I have your attention? Really? Yes, of course. Oh wait. What? What? Okay. Is there something you wish to uh, Azeroth face Vision of the Vision of Nazoth explored. Accessing greeting database. What? Explain. Seek out a vision of Nazoth amongst the corrupted veil in Eternal Blossoms or Oldham. Find out. Uh, and we will get a 430 item or a 430 item. Um, okay, I'm not sure which one is the greater. Um, I'm going to go to Oldham real quick. I'm not going to cut the video. We're just going to run over there real quick while we chat. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Intro to this patch, day one. Very grindy very not cool uh, again we're just kind of like running into the forges around different instances like solo uh, little segments of content that are very just mob mob slaying not even for whoa okay well, that was interesting uh, very not interesting just just not Oh, my inventory is pretty packed now, isn't it? Should probably trash or sell some stuff. Why do I have pet charms? I don't know. I don't do the pet stuff. You know, the pet stuff. Um, I'm actually going to trash this. And trash that. And... Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Alright, so, yeah, um, we're going to see what our very first vision is like. Oldham's down here, and then, of course, the Pandaren content is over on the other side of the world in a different continent. Kind of troublesome to even get to these two places. I mean, obviously, you can go to Silithid for this one, but the other one is a little bit out of the way, even with the teleporters. I don't know, guys. Feels like a big world questy grind <laughs> just to uh, see the end of Nazoth. Not to say that most people won't do it. Um, I'm just giving my initial impression on the stuff that's happening. The corrupted items, I, I guess they're kind of cool. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they play out um, in terms of content, especially like heroic dungeons and or not or mythic dungeons and stuff like that my bow is pretty under leveled 415 pretty garbage uh rest of my items are okay you know mediocre i don't really raid i haven't raided very much in bfa because uh, again it's not worth my time to do uh, but the, the visions of nazoth and the upcoming raid might pique my interest a little bit i might join in on some of that raid content uh, PvP could probably pick up a little bit. Hello there. That was just a quest to turn in. My artifact is actually not like fully leveled, and I believe it increased 10 levels on this expansion. But uh, let's see what we got to do to open up a portal. I do have vessels. I have vessels. How do I actually get into the assault? Wait, wait, do I have to go there? Is, is that the whole thing? Um, is that... Ah, <sighs> guys, guys. 
Oh wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Track, track my quest. Do I have to do it there, or can I do it in Oldham? Track. Oh, I see. It says. Oh, uh, guys. Another thing, the um, the waypoints on some of these quests, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Luckily, I have you know the the, the old cloak to Ogramar trick. So we're gonna be there in a second, but man. Frustration abounds when some of those quests lead you to different places. There was one quest where I had to like, I don't know, maybe go in an instance or find an item or something. I don't remember. But it was very vague. <laughs> and I was just like, really, Blizzard? Is this kind of crap that you're going to give to people? Uh, especially on a new little patch segment. Where are we going? We're going Jade Forest. Again, guys, just initial impressions. Take it with a grain of salt. Comment below. Do whatever you gotta do. But uh, that's how I feel just, you know, for my first, I don't know, two or three hours into this. Uh, let's see if the vision is actually fun to do. I mean, I've heard it's just basically, again, solo content quest run. You can do it with other people, but I don't really have anyone to do it with right now. Uh, okay, here we go. We gotta fly down from the Jade Forest down to the Assault and the Descent. See, look, again, it's very out of the way. Like, you're gonna be spending like, I don't know, a good half hour out of your day just traveling between the two to do them. Just to do them. Unless you have some trick of getting there, I don't know, maybe there's a secret way I don't know about, but portaling here and portaling down to, um... Uh, Silithus, you're still spending a little chunk of time getting to the actual event. Not to mention flying around the events, looking for the objectives. Uh, first day here, there was one objective where you had to break pillars or something in the desert, in Oldham, and um, it was just camped, like every pillar was camped, and you, know, you were like spending 10 minutes just flying around looking for one. That's exaggeration of 10 minutes, but still, you're just uh, frustratingly flying, flying around trying to get these objectives. The Great Worm from Beyond. Those look kind of cool. I would tame one of those. Look, it's got like a huge maw and just snake dragon body thing. Okay, the vision is here, and I'm going to fall or something. I don't know. But Great Worm from Beyond. Calm down. What What is What is this? Reduces my flying speed? Really? They're making it more tedious to get around this place? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, that's all it does? Just just frustratingly gate you around? That is dumb. Um, psh, until my mind resets daily. Okay, uh, psh, yeah, whatever. Let's go. Distorting reality, man. Look, it's the Eye of So- I mean, Nazoth, right? The Eye of Nazoth. Totally, totally unrelated design of madness and corruption and evil. Nizoth. I do have my tank pet out. Nightmare become reality. Explore the area, but do so with caution, champion. I, I thought this was- I thought this was supposed to be like Ogrimmar or something. Stormwind or Ogrimmar. Oh no, that's the greater vision. This is a lesser vision, right? Hey, there's that druid. What? There's another player here? Is that... This is just... This is just another little side content, isn't it? What am I... What am I actually supposed to be doing? Just... Okay, so this is like a little area of pre-content or something. Why is that weird spooky music happening? I have my music turned off. Don't like it. So all these other players are in this little instance of uh, content. And it's just kind of showing us what we're supposed to do, which is basically just kill everything. Uh, psh, uh, okay. What is... Did it reset my audio options or something?
Oh my god, that is so annoying. That sound was horribly annoying. Lizard, please. But that's the worst sound effect I've ever freaking heard in this game. It was just like, wah, wah, wah. oh, what did I get? I got a Sky Shard. This is a uh, Dragonborn. I don't know what it does. Oh, get a Sky Crystal. It is ESO Online. We now have Sky Shards in the game. Uh, psh, what am I doing? What is my objective in, in this thing? Am I supposed to kill a... I miss Bloodthirsty. Okay. There's people just kind of walking around. Do I have a quest objective here? No, it's just for turn in. I guess we wait until our sanity comes down or something. I don't even think I get a reward for doing this, this like intro precursor thing. Oh, he's tanky. Yay, mobs with tanky health bars. That's going to be fun. thousand sanity and we're about halfway down dark smash again bm hunter i really don't care about mob abilities and i don't think most of the classes in wow would because they're easily avoidable i mean there has to be something more there you know there has to be a little bit more to push it over the edge i'm gonna go back up by that uh little temple area because obviously there's like nothing here it appears like all the other players are gone their sanity probably ran out i'm just running up my sanity because i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing i mean i don't have an objective really maybe i'm supposed to kill the, the boss up the stairs or something let's go up the stairs we cannot afford zorbent blob <laughs> what Faceless Manipulator. Where's my pet? Come on, pet. You can do it. Absorbent Blob is on the prowl. Uh, what? Pierre Truff. The Fireworks Vendor is killable. Let's go get the Fireworks Vendor. Oh, hey, that one's actually lootable. Okay, so we got some Coalescing Visions. We go, oh wait, what is that? Okay, there's actually stuff being listed on my uh, screen here. There's another player going in there. Are we going to kill Taijing, the cyclone? Is it going to happen? Are you the boss? I think he's the boss. Mm -hmm. It's too late. Time. He can't control himself. Or we'll, well, hurry, up and, uh, hurry up and die, please. Wait, he can't control himself. Go down. Uh, psh, okay. Nothing happened. Follow that mage. Insanity's going down. I'm bloodthirsty for something. What it is, I don't know. Uh, there's just nothing here? Uh, psh, again, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Don't stand near people, it's basically just Mythic Plus. You do a little 1% of your health per strike. Why is this guy uh, shooting me in the face? Oh yeah, artifact powers. Gotta use those artifact powers. There we go. I always forget to use it sometimes unless I'm running a Mythic Dungeon. Because I forget that AoEing mobs equals good. Uh oh. Something's happening. We're getting close to the end. It's creeping in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Again, I can misdirect on my pet, so I mean, when we actually get into a vision, I think it's going to be very helpful. Question mark? Pet can basically tank for days and be resurrected infinitely, so... I'm not scared of chaining mobs. Okay, this drains my sanity if you stay in the little pools. 
Again, I don't know why I'm continuing in here, guys. <laughs> it's just, just a uh, train of thought. Kill the absorbent blob, I guess. It might drop something for us. Some more little uh, coalescing visions. Web is chair whistle. I want to shoot him. I got him. Matron Vim. Your, your soul is mine. Matron Vim. Oh, where'd my pet go? Come on, pet. I know I jumped off a cliff. Oh, whoa. What is all that? Oh, no. I... Oh, I lost the loot. <laughs> she actually had loot on her. The one person with loot, and we didn't get it. The one person with loot. <laughs> I don't know if they were just green items, but I wanted it. Always keep your inventory clean, guys. Glory to the Sindori. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Okay. Don't be shy. Anaria Shola. Oh, now we got a quest. What? Wait. Wait, so we can go in. Wait, what? We can go in. I'm so confused. What am I doing here? What is this nonsense? I gotta clean up my inventory a little bit, guys. Got the good stuff, man. Uh, screw the minnows, screw the lock boxes. Uh, da, 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 da. I could disenchant this stuff, but uh, uh, tsh, God. sell that, sell those, sell those, sell those. Okay, we got a little bit more inventory space here. Do I go in the vision again, though? Or do I go back and turn it in? Okay, ready for turn in. So now... <laughs> now it wants to go back... To the, oh, guys, this is... Uh, we're gonna cut. Cut. Okay, guys, we're back. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I walked away from the game for a moment there. This is frustrating, just going back and forth from zone to zone to zone to zone. So now Rathion's like, okay, we're going to make something out of the dragon scales. He made this tenebrous gateway. <laughs> the old tenny gateway. Anyways, let's go in. See what's happening. Oh, we're not even going in. We're just anciently awaking, awakening. Oh, okay. The gateway is now complete. I have been expecting you. By entering the Zoth's We got a lot of visions. We can push the limits of your cloak in a relatively safe environment. Okay, so we're finally going to be able to enter into Nazos visions. Uh, let's see what we got here. We get vessels. A nominal amount? Lad, have you lost your mind? We'll be doing Nazoth's work for him. Black dragon scale this is a backpack. But it is one that we must take. It's a cloak. It's a back? What? Champion returns. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's visual. Yeah, this is all visual stuff. And there's how you can socket your corrupted items with 25,000 mementos. We have 16,000, so they're not that hard to get. Until but next time. They, they still are a chore. Okay, I have... Oh, he gave us to just buy a vessel? Okay. Alright, I'll buy one. There you go. All right, witness the future of Azeroth. Um, is this actually going to be a greater vision? I don't know. Horrific vision of Ogrimmar. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, let's do it. What's well, a cue? Okay. All right, sure. I'm assuming we're still in tutorial land, and we're still going through the the ropes of what. This is all about for new players, but basically we know it's just kill stuff. Kill stuff, go as far as you can, get the loot, etc, etc. 
upgrade your cloak to stay in there longer and get upgrades at the forge to last. Driven mad by Nazoth's whispers, Thrall believes that the elements warn him of a disaster that only the old god can prevent. Okay. Now all of Orgrimmar drinks the blood of Nazoth, twisting the Horde into a frenzied war machine. Okay, we're about to witness terrible things. Show me a map. Uh, so we got... 8 sanity per second. 8 sanity per second. Dark delusions. Uh, okay, so delusions, delusions. 12 sanity per second. Very challenging, very challenging, very challenging. They're all very challenging. But basically, these two are the easiest, and then kind of move in. Ah, where is the boss? Oh, Gromash Hold. Okay, so Thrall is just right in front of us. So we do the visions, and then we come back to the center to kill Thrall, I guess? Hmm. Okay, interesting. Every action has consequences. All right, let's see how far we can get. Let's go. I must uphold my father's leg. Bada bing, bada boom. The portal is open. Where, where am I going? Aha. Uh, pet's still here, so we're kind of timed, so we want to kind of hustle along. I'm now bloodthirsty. Sounds good. Oh, wow, our, our sanity's draining pretty quick, isn't it? It's just going down. I'm assuming on your first go through, you're not even supposed to do a area. I'm not really, not really exactly sure what you're supposed to do on your first run through. I suppose I can kind of group up monsters a little bit more. Problem is, there's casters, and they don't exactly want to group up. Oh no, please, whoa, what is that? Endless hunger totem. Interesting. No one in no one in these buildings, just kinda killing whatever we can. I don't see anything to open yet. Again, in time, you eventually figure out what you're supposed to do. No looting in this, just kinda going through, seeing what we can get. The auction house is closed. Um I suppose we're just supposed to go around the actual area itself just pull a few mobs over here and then we'll uh we'll nuke them down oh i'm horrified am i though hmm that's interesting defeat thrall the corrupted are we supposed to clear this entire zone before we can move on? I'm wondering if that's the thing. You gotta just kill everything in order to uh, progress. Why is this void elemental on me? It's kind of weird. Now here's where I could have used my uh, artifact. Definitely. We still got the AoE as BS Beast Master. We can still keep going. We'll just keep keep them up there. What is that? A giant tentacle. Okay, there's where we cross. We can cross over. I don't think I can. Oh, we are low on sanity, aren't we? I can't mount. Can I mount? Yeah, I can mount. Okay, so I am horribly low on sanity already just from the passiveness of this zone. I'm wondering if Thrall has guards. Does he... Have spoken. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go after him. He might be quite a little fight here. He's just a wild dude, isn't he? Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, sanity drain. Mechanics. They have mechanics. Oh man, can I kill him in time? This is gonna be so close, guys. Oh, I don't know if I, I can kill him in time. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Wow. Okay. Interesting. Corruption levels detected. Initiating evacuation protocol. Hmm, so your very first run, you are pretty uh, boned in terms of running. Our sorties into Nazoth's mind place you in immense peril. We must push further into the visions, but not if we lose you to madness in the process. Very interesting. Okay. So that was actually very close, and I lost a lot of sanity right off the bat. I have been expecting the you. The door opens. The path made clear. That voice! Where is it coming from? Azeroth cries out in pain. It's right over there. It's from the door. We let him into the world. We're done for. The sleeping city awakens. Oh, snap. The Black Empire Reborn. We're under attack! Protect the chamber! Uh, okay. Let's just fire off the old amulet here. What is, what is this? What am I doing? Cleansing something. A pillar. All these pillars. Remove the tentacles. The obelisks are what anchor him here. We need to destroy them. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm working on it while I kill stuff, basically. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on, isn't there? I'm cleansing. Oh man, they keep spawning stuff. Okay, I'm cleansing faster. I don't know if I'm spawning more, but I'm cleansing faster. Come on, get this off me, pet. There's no end to them. Well, there is an end to them. I just gotta cleanse, right? Bada bing, bada boom. It's cleansed. Cliche to the max. Save our world, champion. No matter the cost. Oh, we've done that like 20 times by now. The world is always in peril. Oh, Radin is now a raid boss. <laughs> I assume, or he's dead. One of the two. He's gone. We meet again, champion. Okay, um so coalescing visions. Can we get anything? No. Oh okay, these are mementos. These are coalescing. I got it. Total maximum twenty five thousand. Okay, yeah. Okay, well that that's a definite difference right there. 176 out of twenty five thousand. Learn from the past. Yeah. Contamination levels phenomenal. Compiling recorded Titan research. Bring the archives Data online. Now accessible. Okay, so this is unlocking basically our new upgrade path, right? Okay, so in horrific visions, enable sanity restoration orb. The orb revives the allies and restores sanity. Up to three orbs can be summoned in a vision. Any player can summon them. Well, might as well get it, right? Okay. Uh, then we basically have a free res, right? Uh, reduces damage and increases damage. Okay, each ally nearby reduces it by 1%. That means you can't do it in a party. And here's the party path. All party members gain sanity and revival costs no sanity okay so this is team this is solo 
Uh, you're able to see and loot treasure chests, okay. Um, you delete, and if you defeat an elite, you get 200 sanity, okay. While above 50% sanity, you get more damage, and below, you lose damage, or killing an enemy gains movement, speed, and haste. And the last one, defeating enemies gets gift, gift of the Titans, increases movement speed, and reduces sanity loss. Okay, pretty good. Accessing breeding database. Hello. I speak for Azeroth. Contamination levels nominal. We need to save him. Mother, can you find us another way inside? Acknowledged. Scanning planetary surface for related anomalies. Matching energy signature detected. It seems our Location. Are Veil of eternal, eternal blossoms. blossoms. Of course. The Titan Forges. Hold on, Raden. We are coming for you. Work complete. These stones have tales to tell. I thought it was only once per day you do these, but technically it looks like you can do them multiple times. I don't know. I'm going to have to experiment and figure that out. In the meantime, I'm going to go save Raden, guys. It's it's something you're all going to do, basically, or look on YouTube. I'm not going to do the entire quest line. But that's kind of an intro of like what's happening. You're just doing the two new maps. You're doing greater visions and lesser visions to get the coalescing essences and mementos. And uh, basically, you're funneling mementos into your new upgrade path. Okay. Um, yeah, you have your solo side, and then you have your non-solo side. So that'll do it for this episode. I don't know what to think exactly of this entire expansion. <sighs> not an expansion, guys. It's not an expansion. This entire patch, um, it seems like it'd be all right when the raid comes out. But right now, just grinding content is... Fairly dull. Fairly dull, I'm going to say it right. Because these traits are bland, boring. Very, very bland. Very boring. Um, it's basically just making sure you can stay in a vision longer with a few minor speed buffs and resistances and damage boosts. A flat damage boost is not a good um, patch. It's just just not. Okay, um, I'm done rambling. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're going to do this uh while we wait for Shadowlands. Bye, guys. <laughs>